Computer science is a very popular major to pursue nowadays, and is arguably one of the best and rewarding career path a person can pursue. This major can introduce you to different jobs you can enroll, like software engineer, data science, machine learning and AI, and much more. This major can offer you financial stability, job opportunities, also it opens for you a path to become an entrepreneur. So if you are someone who is thinking about pursuing a degree in computer science, I want to tell you that you are in the right video. Today I'll be telling you what you can do exactly just before starting your first year in computer science to make sure you can maximize the chances of success in this major and enter your first year ready for anything. Whoever tells you that you don't need prior knowledge in programming to pursue a degree in computer science, well they are right but there is a twist. It is true that in your first year, you'll learn a specific language, for example C++. And C++ is one of these languages that are not easy to understand, because it has a hard syntax and has little abstraction compared to other languages. But don't get me wrong, C++ is a very powerful language, it can be used to create games. But I am not talking on a beginner level, this language is not for beginners. So now you are thinking, I'm going to learn C++, a hard programming language, and I never did programming in my life. So am I going to fail? The answer is no, and let me tell you how. Because you are someone who is pursuing a computer science degree and have no prior knowledge in programming doesn't guarantee failure, but you'll have a harder time of studying compared to the one who already knows programming. What you can do is start right now and learn programming before you start your first year. I specifically advise you to learn the programming language called Python. This language will teach you the fundamentals of computer science and programming, including topics like variables, loops, data types, classes and objects, and much more. Why Python? Because it is one of the easiest and beginner-friendly programming language you can find right now. With this language, you will be able to start understanding programming concepts that you will learn when you start computer science. But now that you began learning Python, from this moment till the day you start your first year and learn whatever language your university is teaching you, you will see that you won't have a harder time learning the programming concepts because you already know them. Look, every programming language have the same programming concept, like creating functions, exception handling, recursion, and much more. But what differs is the syntax, rules, and couple of features that languages have. But instead of learning these concepts in university, utilizing a tough language, why not learn them at your own pace with a language as easy as Python? Like this, you'll have the ability to grasp the concept and build this programmer mindset, which is problem-solving mindset. This will give you an advantage compared to other classmates who never wrote a single Hello World program. Also, to build this problem-solving mindset every programmer has, you need to apply what you learn on exercises and projects. Don't neglect practice, because practice makes perfect. You have to apply your programming skills by solving exercises and building projects. This will improve your way of thinking. So I am currently emphasizing on how important it is to start programming before your first year in computer science, because it helps you develop the problem-solving mindset you need and it teaches you the core concepts a computer science student needs. But here is why you need to do this. You need to learn programming on your own because even if you will learn it from a well-educated instructor, how to write in the C programming language for example, that doesn't guarantee you that you'll be able to understand whatever the instructor is teaching you. Because first of all they are in a hurry, so they might rush into the course because they have a syllabus to follow and must finish it within a certain period of time. And an instructor has typically a lot of stuff flowing in their mind, so maybe they might forget to say something or say something in a wrong way. And because you have zero programming knowledge, you won't have the ability to relate what the instructor said with what you know. Another reason why it is better to have prior knowledge in programming is because it will make your computer science path easier. If you enroll with zero knowledge in programming, you will definitely succeed. But you'll be putting 10 times the effort to study for your programming exams compared to someone who has coding experiences and will take maybe half an hour to prepare for a programming exam. The last reason is because you learned programming before enrolling in computer science, you already acquired the problem-solving mindset needed to solve programming exercises and build projects. Like this, whatever question you get during your programming exams, you'll be able to solve them faster than those who are new to programming. This can really give you an advantage. Because you stick with me this far, I want to offer you extra concepts you can consider if you really want to stand out. First, learn about hardware components, like what is CPU, what is RAM, learn about machine language or binary, which is the language every computer uses to communicate. Next, learn about binary languages, which they are zeros and ones, which represents the off state and the on state. And make sure you learn why computers have these states. Next, learn how to convert a decimal number to binary, and how to convert binary to decimal. 
also learn how to perform arithmetic operations using binary numbers. At last, try to refresh and enhance your math skills, because you have to accept that math is a big part of computer science and you will have to be comfortable in it. And this is the end. I hope you found this video valuable and I hope I helped you in some ways. If you're a computer science student and watch this video, tell us in the comment section about your journey and what are you currently learning. Other than that, I thank you for watching this video and I invite you to click on this Python tutorial playlist if you want to start your programming journey or check out this video to check 6 websites to learn code for free.